The good news is the economy is looking fairly strong. The bad news is stock prices already reflect that good news. I'm Jack Otter, editor of Barron's.com. I'm here with Merrill Whitmer, longtime member of the Barron's Roundtable and a general partner at Eagle Capital, Part Eagle Capital Partners. Uh, let's get your view of the economy and the markets first. Uh, bullish on Trumponomics and then, uh, then get your pick. Relative, I'm relatively bullish, assuming what he wants to do gets put through, low, in, in specifically lower corporate taxes and less regulation. I think that's really great for companies, it's good for America, it's good for productivity, has a lot of positive aspects to it. Having said that, the market's had a big run, has a lot of positive aspects to it. Having said that, the market's had a big run, so it's in there in certain pockets there are some. Uh, as always, you have a company that I've never heard of. Um, you find some really interesting companies to share. Will you tell us about it? Yes. So Linamar is one of my recommendations this year. It's a Canadian company based in Guelph, Ontario, outside of Toronto. And they make uh, parts for the automakers, the OEMs. And it's mainly the drive line and the powertrain is what they do. And they also have another division division that makes scissor lifts under the name of Skyjack. That's also a very good business in an oligopoly. Now, are you bullish on the auto industry, or you think that, that this company can do well wherever auto sales go? Great, qu great question. I think they'll do well almost no matter what auto sales do. The area they're in is the area that's almost all made in-house now by the OEMs and in the process of being outsourced. So 70, 70 to 80 percent is done in-house now. That's all getting outsourced. Linamar is one of the few who can make many of the parts and the quality that the automakers need. Transmissions, et cetera, are very, very important to how the car operates. And they're going to make, uh, in terms of earnings, we think they'll make in 2016 about $7.30 a share. The stock is $60 Canadian. And um, with the already announced and signed deals that they have, assuming flat auto sales, They'll grow 30% over the next four years and make about $9 or more in 2020. So we think it's very, very cheap. They have very, very high returns on capital employed, 20% plus uh, pre-tax. So it's quite a good company. It was started by scratch, from scratch um, by an immigrant into Canada, and he's built this into a $4 billion equity cap company. It's really quite something. That is amazing. I, I've got to clarify one thing. Do you mean roughly 7 8% a year or 30% a year growth? A 30% total. Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. But still, that's and a pretty good multiple a, on an 8% grower. Absolutely. And it could, it, it could grow more. This is what they've already signed, and they you know, continue to bring in business. Meryl, thanks very much. Thank you.